And I am Rodney1279. Welcome to Net Poker, y'all. Glad to have you with us. We're gonna have an exciting time. I can feel it. On the last two episodes, we have given away the outlaw jackpot, and it was all won by one player. I will talk to this about this player in a second. Let me get the game all set up. Today's outlaw jackpot is at fifty thousand dollars again. The first round is video poker. Our returning champion, who has won two games, $150,750, is Eric Lima. Hello, world. Back here again. Eric, you think you can do what you did the last time? Is your fire is still going? Uh, well, I'm hoping to uh, pull it off again, but if, if not, that's okay. No shame in that. If I lose, no shame in that either. So. Yeah, because you got the most money so far this season. Yeah. Good luck to you, Eric. And in the second spot, we have Justin Noise. How you doing, Justin? Is Justin out there? Well, Justin, are you ready to face Eric? Yeah. Good luck to you. And on the third spot, we have Dante Pittman. How you doing, Dante? I'm doing good, Ronnie. Well, you know Eric has been on fire. You think you can stop his run? Mm -hmm. I think I can. Well, good luck to the three of y'all. Uh, y'all know we're going to play um, um, video poker. All right. And to start off on video poker, you're going to each start off with 10 points. And we're going to do five questions in this round. And it, all questions in this round are worth 10 points. Player with the lowest score after the end of the question portion will get to put their cards together, okay? So here's the first question for 10 points. Y'all see the uh, keys you have to use to buzz in, okay? Here it is. For 10 points, which of these countries is famous for its churches with domes shaped like onions? Is it A, Belgium, B, Russia, or C, France? Dante. France. Huh? France. France is wrong. Eric. Russia. Russia is correct. Good job. 20 points for you, Eric. Next question. What position does Chu Chang play on Ravensclaw's Quidditch team? Again, what position does Chu Chang play on Ravensclaw or on Ravensclaw's Quidditch team? Is it A, beater, B, chaser, or C, seeker? Dante. Chaser. Chaser is wrong. Don't know that one because I don't read Harry Potter or watch the movie. Okay. We'll let that go by. <clears throat> How about you, Justin? Do you know? All right. All right, so we're going to go on to the next question. The answer for that one was Seeker. Seeker. Okay. All right, here we go. Another question for 10 points. What was the name of the young Jewish girl who left a diary of her life in Amsterdam during World War II? Dante. World War II. That's the wrong answer, Dante. That question was an open-ended question, by the way. Hmm. I'm trying to 
trying to think. Answer. Answer was Anne Frank. Anne Frank. Anne Frank. All right. Okay, we're going. We're going to another question. What Broadway musical builds itself as the untold story of the Witches of Oz? Eric. The Wiz. The Wiz is wrong. All right, go ahead, Dante. I'll say legally. What's your answer? Legally blonde. Legally blonde is wrong. You want to try it, Justin? No. Okay, we'll go on to the next question. The answer was wicked. Wicked. Okay, last uh, uh, question for this round. And it's a true or false question. New Zealand's only native land mammal is a bat. True or false, Dante? Uh, false. False is wrong. <laughs> Justin? True. There you go. You got the easiest 10 points. All right, so here's the scores after the question round. Eric and Justin are tied with 20 points, and Dante... You have 10 points, but the scores are close. Now we're going to put together uh, our cards. Y'all going to put together a five-card poker hand. And here's is what, here is what we pay off for the five-card hand once I get my screen up. Uh, I'm ready. Stand by one second. I'm going to... Here we go. So here's what we pay for our five cards hands. If you get a pair of jacks or less, it's minus five points off your score. A pair of queens or better is five. Two pairs is ten. Three of a kind is fifteen. Straight is twenty. Flush is twenty-five. Full house is forty. A four of a kind is one twenty-five. A straight flush is two fifty. And if any of you get a royal flush, not only in this round, this round is worth a thousand points, but if you manage to get a royal flush, Within the first three rounds, we give you a $100,000 bonus and a new car, okay? Okay. All right, Dante, you ready to uh, put together your hand? I'm ready. Here we go. We cover up the board and pick your five numbers. All right, we'll pick 15. Going 15. Number 15 is a queen of clubs. All right, I'll try number nine. Number nine, a queen of spades. You got a pair of queens. Okay, okay, uh, five. Number five, a king of diamonds. Okay, number 13. Number 13, let's see what's buying 13. A ten of clubs, one more selection. Okay. One more selection, number 12. Number 12. And you have a nine of diamonds, Dante. So you have a pair of queens. That pair of queens is worth five points. You have 15 points. It won't win you the round. You can keep that hand or you can go ahead and draw new cards to improve it. Uh, I can draw new cards. Which ones you want to get rid of? The king, the ten, and the nine. King, ten, and nine is out. And he's hoping to improve on his queens. Go ahead, Dante. Pick your three number, cards. Number 20. Number 20. Ace of spades. Okay. Um, 18. Number 18. King of hearts. One more turn. I hope that... I hope that another queen's in 11. 11. And 11 has a nine of spades. Okay, Dante. So you, that gives you five points. 
You have 15 points. We will definitely see you in round two, okay? Okay. Alright, Eric, you're up next. You have 20 points. You're tied with Justin. You ready to right. see how your hand turns out? Let's do it. Alright, five cards, Eric. 24. 24. King of Clubs. Very good. Uh, number eight. Number eight. Ace of Diamonds. Oh, that's good. That's a good card. Um, let's try number six. Number six. King of Spades. You have a pair of kings. Ready? Uh, number nineteen. Number nineteen. Queen of Spades. Let's try number fifteen. And number fifteen. Let's see what we have for number fifteen. Nine of Cubs. Okay. Now, uh, you have a pair of kings that is worth five points, Eric. You're going to let, uh, keep that in if you want to, if you think that's good enough, or you can draw new cards. I want to try to draw new cards, see if I can get a better hand. And the okay. cards I want to get rid of are the last two cards, the queen and the nine. Okay, he's keeping the, uh, uh, two kings and that ace. Good luck to you, Eric. Hopefully the cards will work in your favor. Two cards, Eric. Number ten. Number ten. Ace of Diamonds. Now oh, you have a good. two pair so far. You can find that king or the ace. You'll have a full house. All right. Let's go number two. Number two. Let's see what's behind. Number two. And a jack of spades. Okay. So you have a two pair, Eric. Um, that is good for ten points. Okay, good. You have 30 points. Now, Justin, in order for you to win this round, you have to get uh, better than a two pair. If you get a two pair, you'll tie this round. We'll have a tiebreaker, Justin, okay? All right. Let's uh, go ahead, mix the cards up and cover them, and choose your five cards, okay. Justin. I believe you need the three of a kind because that's better than two pairs. Yes. Eight. Number eight. Ace of Hearts. Sixteen. He said sixteen. He said. Jesse, you said sixteen. Yep. Nine of clubs. Uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one. King of spades. Oh my gosh. He said two. Okay. Number two. Ten of diamonds. One more pick, Justin. Twenty-four. And twenty-four. Ten of spades. Okay, now that is one pair. Now remember, that pair is going to um, give you a penalty of five points if you keep that because you have to have queens or better. How do you want to handle it, Justin? I'm going to keep the 10s. Going to keep the 10s. We get rid of everything else. And you want at least a three of a kind. A two pair will tie up the game. Y'all will have a tiebreaker. Alright. 10. Number 10. Is a queen of clubs. Oh my gosh. 19. Number 19. Jack of Diamonds, one more oh, chance gosh. to pair it with something or get a three of a kind to win. Five. Number five, let's see what's behind number five. We have a tie again. You have two pair that is worth 30 points, so it's tied up. Eric and Justin will be doing the tiebreaker and, and hear how the tiebreaker work. Y'all gonna hit your you're gonna hit each hit your inner key. We're gonna roll the dice. And whoever, and whoever has the higher poker hand with the dice will win an extra 10 points and will go on to pick on the poker board, okay? Got it. Eric, when you're ready, hit the empty key and let's see what you get. Okay. Oh, you got two pairs. So that two pair is worth two points. You got a pair of jacks and a pair of tens. So you got two points. Now you have to beat 
Now you have to have a better hand than um, Eric. You have to beat the two pair. The jacks are high. Go ahead, Justin. Go ahead and spin them. Let's see what you have. You have a two nine. No, Eric, you won that round. Oh, wow, but one point. Oh. You won the round, yes. The two pair beats uh, the one pair. So you won that round, Eric. And you get to choose from the board. All right. You ready to go choose on the poker board? We got it. Let's do it. Here we go. All right, and that queen is in the way, too. <laughs> so choose a letter between from a P-O-K-E-R. One of them has a 5,000. Oh, let's try the letter K. I'm going to get five kids. Go ahead, take the K. And behind letter K is $5,000. Dante, look at the TV, man. Yeah. So you have $155,750. Let's see what everything else has. We have a P. The P is 1000 The O is 2000 the E is seven fifty and the R is five hundred. So you'll be seeing the VIP lounge while Justin and Dante go at it to see who's gonna play you, okay? Got it. Okay, we're gonna take a little break and when we come back, we're gonna do five card poker here on Net Poker after this. The Queen is still there. <laughs> the Queen is just sitting there, huh? Queen's like, I don't wanna go anywhere. Yeah, I want to be involved in the game. So we're doing five card poker now. That was a close one. Dante and um, Justin, are y'all ready? I'm ready. Okay, so here we go. So y'all know the rules of um, five card poker. First four questions are worth 10 points, and, and if you answer the question correctly, you'll get to choose from one of the two cards to, um, to help your hand, okay? All right, guys, are we ready? Yes. All right, here we go. Here's the first two cards. Well, actually, sorry. Justin, you get to choose the number between 1 and 24 to cut the deck. 20. He's saying 20. Alright, uh, uh, here's the first two cards we're going to be dealing with. We have the King of Hearts and the Queen of Hearts. And we have background noise. Alright, here we go. Alright, guys, y'all ready? I'm ready. Alright, so we have the King of Hearts and the Queen of Hearts. Here's the first question What major U.S. city is home to the Golden Gate Bridge? Dante. San Francisco. That is the right answer. And you have 10 points. You want the King of Hearts or the Queen of Hearts? King of Hearts. What did you say? Queen of Hearts. He's going with the Queen of Hearts. All right. And uh, just to get the King of Hearts. Next two cards. We have the Nine of Hearts and the Ace of Spades. Next question. What book, what book in the Hunger Games trilogy was split into two parts? When it was adapted for the movie. Dante. Mockingjay. Mockingjay parts one and two. That is right. You have the 20 points, Dante. Do you want the left uh, card or the right card? The left card. He's going with the left card. He wants the nine. And Justin has the king and the ace. Let's see the next two cards. We have the Ten of Hearts and the Ten of Diamonds. Here's the next question. What was a medieval contest 
between two knights on horseback called? Is it A, Joust, B, Skirmish, or C, Rowley? Dante. Joust. Joust is correct. You're up to 30 points, Dante. Do you want the 10 of hearts or the 10 of diamonds? 10 of diamonds. Okay, he's going with the 10 of diamonds. All right, next two cards. We have the queen of diamonds and the king of diamonds. Here is the question. Who tried to get his friend to eat green eggs and ham? Dante. Sam. Sam is correct. Good job. All right, do you want the king of diamonds or the queen of diamonds? He's going with the Queen of Diamonds. He got a pair of queens so far, and uh, Justin has a pair of kings. Now, Justin, this question is worth 15 points, and these cards are face down. Justin, if you want a chance to stay in this game, you have to get this question right, okay? Here's the question. What hormone is... What hormone is released when we feel frightened? Is it A, insulin, B, adrenaline, or C, serotonin? Justin. What's your answer? Adrenaline. Adrenaline is right. And you have 15 points. Do you want the left card or the right card, Justin? The left card, okay. Now, whoever wins this hand will go ahead and get uh, the 25 points. In your case, Justin, if you get it, you'll tie up the game, and we'll have a tiebreaker. Dante, if you get it, you go into the next round, okay? Uh, Let's see what we have in terms of the cards. Oh, Dante won it. He has a two pair. Yeah. Good job, Dante. You have 65 points, and you're going to go ahead to our um, poker board in which you get a chance to, um, to see how much money you can win. Justin, you're not going way up the handed. We're going to give you $150. And uh, congratulations, Justin, okay? All right. That, that TV is so loud in the background. Sorry, Dante. Because copyright, because we're watching Raw. Yeah. You and get the thing on uh, closed caption. That's how I do it. Yeah. All right, All right Dante. Choose between um, the P, the O, the K, the E, and the R. One of them um, has a 5,000. Uh, I'll take the R. Let's see what's behind R. You have one. $2,000. Okay, Dante. Right. That's fair. Let's see where that 5000 was. 5000 was in O this time. And there's the rest of the money amount. So you're going to go ahead and play Eric in the final round, okay? And that final round is Joker Poker. We're going to do Joker Poker right after this here on Net Poker. Stay with us. Okay, we're ready to do Joker Poker. So Eric is back in the game. We'll see if Eric can try to win three games in a row or see if Dante can stop his winning streak. Y'all know Joker Poker is played the same way as five card poker. The only difference is we add jokers in the deck. If you should get a double joker within... Um, you're questioning the person who gets the question right will not only get 10 points, but they'll win a $5,000 bonus, okay? If it happens right. with the face down cards, y'all will both win $5,000, all right? All right. Eric, you won that first round. Do you want to pick, pick a card from 1 to 26? Let's go down the middle, 13. Going 13. Eric has $155,750 up until this point. All right, let's see the first two cards we're going to be dealing with. The Queen of Spades and the Ace of Clubs. 
Hands on the keyboard, here's the first question. In what U.S. city is the neighborhood nicknamed Little Havana located? Eric. I believe it's Miami. Miami is correct. Nicely done. Ten points. You want the Queen of Spades or the Ace of Clubs? Please. Which one you want? The Ace. The, the Ace of Clubs. Leaving uh, Dante with the Queen of Spades. The next two cards. We have the Ace of Diamonds and the Jack of Spades. Next question. What are the names of the Spy Kids' parents? Is it A, Judy and Hugh? B, Ingrid and George? Let me try again. I'm sorry about that. I'm going to reread the whole question again. What are the names of the Spy Kids' parents? Is it A, Judy and Hugh? B, Ingrid and Gregorio? Or C, D.D. and Stu? Eric. I believe it's B. Ingrid and Gregorio is correct. You have 20 points. Do you want the Ace of Diamonds or the Jack of Spades? Ace of Diamonds, please. Go with the Ace of Diamonds. He has a pair of Aces. Dante has a Queen of Spades and a Jack of Spades. Next two cards. We have the King of Diamonds and the King of Spades. Next question. Whose daughters are named Sasha and Malia? Dante. President Barack Obama. That's the right answer. You have 10 points. You want the King of Diamonds or the King of Spades? King of Spades. All right. He's going to take the King of Spades. You have uh, three good cards there. And they're still at the pair of aces. Let's see the next two cards. We have the Ace of Spades and the Jack of Clubs. Next question. Which of these shades is a pinkish red? Is it A, coral, B, maroon, or C, scarlet? Dante. I would say the first one. Coral. Are you, are you going with coral? Yes. Coral is correct. Yeah. All right, Dante, which card do you want? The ace of spades. All right. So the score is tied at 20 points apiece at this moment. Next two cards. And they're face flat down. Depending on what happens here, Dante, if you get a 10 of spades, Dante, you will win $100,000 and a $49,000 car to go with it. So it all comes down to this question. It depends on what happens here. Here it is. Who expressed the connection between energy and mass as E equal MC squared? Go ahead, Dante. Albert Einstein. Albert Einstein is right. You have 35 points. Eric has 20. Which card do you want, the left card or the right card? I'm going to take the left card. Going to take the left card. And we, had a pivotal, and we had a pivotal moment in this game. Whoever wins this hand will get 25 points and be the champion. In this case, Dante, if you get a 10 of spades, Dante, on this hand, it is over with. You win the round and you win $100,000 and a brand new card, Dante, okay? Y'all guys ready? Ready, ready. Let's see what we have. No, not this time, but let's see who wins the round. Look like, Eric, you have won a round with those two aces, so you're the champion, Eric, again. Uh, good, uh, good game, Dante. That was pretty good. That was actually a good round. That was a good round. I thought we was going to have a raw flush. We'll keep trying at it. So this is like the second time we was close to getting a raw flush again. So you had that two pair that... Well, actually, you got that pair of aces that beat Dante's pair of jacks. Yeah, jacks, yeah. Yep. So you have 45 points. You're going to go on to the um, bonus round for hopefully another $50,000 in a second. Dante, we add $350 to your total, Dante. You had, okay. And you won $2,350. You played a good game, Dante, and I congratulations. Thank you, thank you. 
Well, I thought that raw flesh was gonna happen that time. That's all right. Yep, but Eric, you get to choose two cards. If the two cards are the highest, the two thousand and the five thousand, we'll throw in that. We'll throw in the extra three thousand dollars to make it ten thousand dollars. All right. Well, let's try the letter O. Letter and O. Letter R. O and R. O is seven fifty dollars. And R is five thousand uh, dollars. Nice. So you want five thousand seven hundred fifty dollars right there? Let's Not see bad. what that two thousand was. The two thousand was in decay. Uh, thousand was in E, R. and the P had five hundred. Eric, well you're uh, going sorry. back to the bonus round for a third time. You have one hundred and sixty-one thousand. Five hundred dollars. We're gonna take a break, guys, and we'll come back. We'll see if Eric can win the um, Deuces Wild Poker Round again for fifty thousand dollars here on Net Poker. We'll be right back after this. It will take your total to two hundred eleven thousand five hundred dollars, Eric. If you yeah, did that cool again. again, I thought he had it. Yeah, I thought Dante had that royal flush, man. I th that was really good. That was really good, though. That was yeah. decent hands, too. Well, no matter what happens to it, no matter what happens here, no shame. Yeah, but you'll get to play again tomorrow and continue to run. So, the outlaw jackpot is at $50,000 right now, and here's how it works. You know how it works. All you gotta do yeah. is pick four deuces while avoiding the outlaws. If you get the deuces, all the deuces while avoiding the outlaws, you win another fifty thousand dollars, and your winnings will be at two hundred eleven thousand five hundred dollars. Now, if you should hit an outlaw, you forfeit your chance at that money, and we add twenty five hundred dollars to the outlaw jackpot, Eric. Okay? Let's do it. You ready to play? Uh. Um, Deuces Wild Poker. Let's do it. All right. One outlaw in the first line and five deuces. Find that deuce, Eric. Number uno, number one. Number one. Let's see what's behind number one. Oh, wow. The outlaw, the outlaw was like, the outlaw was like enough of you winning. <laughs> All right, so that means... You, that 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 outlaw jackpot is out of it. So the jackpot for the next episode so far is fifty two thousand five hundred dollars. But we want some deuces here so you can get a good poker hand, Eric. So okay, let's see. Uh, let's try number ten on the second one here. This one is two outlaws and um four deuces. Let's see what's behind number ten. There you go, Eric. Got a deuce. Now in this line, three outlaws and three deuces find a deuce. 50-50 chance. Let's try number 13. Number 13. Let's see what's by number 13. There you go. You got two deuces. One more try, Eric. You have two deuces and four outlaws this time. The odds are against you. Find that deuce. Uh, number 21. 21. Let's hope there's a deuce back there in 21. There you go, Eric. Oh, boy. If you hadn't picked that outlaw in that first line, you would have had it again. But you have three deuces, so you could win up to $20,000. I'm going to go over what you uh, could win the bonus round. If you get a three of a kind in this bonus round, it's $500. A straight is $750. A flush is $1,000. A full house is $1,500. A four of a kind is $2,000. A straight flush is $5,000. A five of a kind is $10,000. If you get that row of flush, you'll win $20,000, Eric. And you uh, have a good shot at getting the row of flush. Pick a number between 1 and 24 to cut the deck. Let's cut it in half. 12. Going with number 12. I know you're going to get at least $2,000 from this for having those three deuces. All right, choose which card you want, the left or the right card. Right card, please. Go with the right card. Let's see what's on the right 
card. A queen of spades. All right. If you can manage to give me, get a ten of spades or higher in that same suit, you'll win $20,000. All righty then. Let's try the left card this time. The left card. Another queen will get you $10,000. Let's see what's on the left card. Ten of diamonds. All right, Eric. Okay. You have that ten of diamonds and the queen of spades. Now we need to figure out how you're going to set up your hand, how you want to set up, change that uh, second deuce. All right, um, since the queen is the higher card, I want to stick with her. Um, queen of diamonds. Queen of diamonds. All right, um, next card. Um, let's make it appropriate. Queen of clubs. Queen of clubs. And the last one. The queen of hearts. Queen of Hearts. I think you got four of a kind for $2,000, Eric. That's not bad. That is not bad at all. So that means that on our next show, you'll have, when you play a game, you'll be uh, playing um, with $163,500 in your bank and uh, the jackpot for the next um this is wild poker is fifty two thousand five hundred dollars, Eric. Okay. Very good. So we'll see you on the next show, and I hope y'all enjoyed that poker this evening. This is Rodney One Two Seven Nine signing off, saying be safe, be careful, take care, everybody, and stay blessed. Goodbye, y'all. That was a good episode. Good episode. Very, very decent game played, and uh, mm -hmm. well done. Yeah, we can't give it away all the time. <laughs> uh, it's all right. No yeah. Shame. Yeah. Uh, I said no shame then. Yep. Here we go, the closing. Oh, I'm going to get off of the call. Like See y'all guys next time for next net poker. Y'all take care. Uh, uh.